Alicia, we know that no distress calls were made before the helicopter went down, which shows you just how quickly everything happened. But as people process, it still might be weeks, even months before we get a lot more information. It's something she'll never forget. All the cop cars, the empty interstate. I just remember seeing the metal just crushing down as it landed. And I was terrified. I'm thinking, hey, please let this be a drone. Please let this be a drone. Tierra Hollyfield is still trying to process what she saw on Tuesday. She was right there on Interstate 77 when WBTV's helicopter went down, killing two employees, pilot Chip Tag and meteorologist Jason Myers. And I remember immediately just smelling electrical burn more than anything. No gas, no fuel, just pure electrical burning smell. The helicopter they were flying is a Robinson R-44. Experts say it's a small, common aircraft that's all over the country. I have quite a lot of time in, in those. Um, some people say, oh, you know, the Robinsons always go down, but it's the fact of the matter is the Robinson's one of the most uh, popular aircraft out there, and there's a lot of them out there. The R-44 does have a history of fatal crashes. There have been 72 since 1993, according to the NTSB database. And investigators will use previous crashes to try and figure out what went wrong. They're going to test a lot of things. They're actually pretty good at figuring out what uh, could have possibly gone wrong. There will be plenty of data to look at, but one thing has been clear from the start. I don't foresee there be any pilot error here. I think he did a fantastic job, all things considered. There was loss of life. It could have been a lot worse. Pilot Chip Tag logged years of flights with WBTV. There were dozens each month, and many people thanking him for what he did on his final flight. That was incredibly heroic of him. That was, for it to be one of his final moments, that was incredibly heroic. So it will be a couple of weeks before we see that preliminary report, but folks at the NTSB say it could be months, if not years, before we get the final report, which will tell us exactly what happened. So there's still more to learn here and also just a lot to process. Alicia Morgan, 